Hi, my name is Jenna DeAngelis. Welcome to my studio. We all know how hard it is to throw a party, and my best friend is no exception to that rule. She really crosses every T and dots every I when she's giving a party. She's throwing a baby shower for a mutual friend of ours, and she has been working her tail off. So I know the baby's gonna get a million gifts, but I wanted to give my best friend a really lovely thank you for all the work that she's put into this party. So I got three delicately scented handmade soaps for her, and I got some really cool fabrics at my favorite fabric store here in Los Angeles. And what I wanted to do was wrap each soap delicately with this fabric and then make a handmade wrapper for it, put it on this really beautiful dish that I found and give her a lovely hostess gift, which she truly deserves. So welcome to my studio. Today's the perfect day to make something really lovely. The supplies that you'll need for this project include three scented soaps, a dish to put them on when you're all finished, three pieces of fabric that match but aren't too matchy-matchy, some pens for writing and even decorating the labels, scotch tape, pinking shears, and good old scissors, as well as printing paper. That's all you need. I wanted to make some really delicate soaps because my friend, she's all about all that is beautiful and lovely and romantic. So to make her something that's modern and weird would just not work. So what I've decided to do, using these three sort of decorative fabrics that I found at the store the other day, I want to draw some little romantic swirly bands to wrap around these soaps. And then I'm gonna put, of course, the name of the soap and whatever the scent is. I think there's a lavender, a spice, and a rose. So I'm gonna write those in the middle of it. And I want three different designs so that it really complements the fabrics. So what I'm gonna do is now doodle up some illustrations, take them into the computer, scan them, fix them all up, and prep them so that you can download them from my website too. So if you have a very fancy baby shower to go to, you can make some nice soaps too, as a hostess gift. You know what I love about designing something is that when you just take the time to make something for someone you care about, it's so much more meaningful and I think it's received with so much more tenderness when you've actually taken the time to make it. So remember, if you've got a gift to give to somebody or just want to make the day special, use Handmade. It's really a lovely way to go. Now that I've finished designing the wrappers for the soap, give me two minutes. I'm going to go scan them and prep them for you. I'll be right back. Okay, it's the magic of television. I said two minutes, and really it is two minutes, but in actuality, I took 20, I checked my emails, I got a manicure, I called my girlfriend, and now I know what the new colors of her bathroom are. So she's going with a light blue and a peach. Ha <laughs> ha, so now I know what colors to make these files. I also made a large version and a small version for you. And I'm gonna use the smaller one today, but if you have bigger soaps, a full bar size, you can use these. But the first step is to wrap each piece of soap that you have in fabric using pinking shears so that you don't rag the edges of the fabric. And then we'll go on to personalizing the wrappers. The soaps that I got, wow, that is not, that is very strong. Okay. <laughs> the soaps that I got smell delicious and powerful. But the one thing that you should know about soaps is that if you bring them home from the store, and I, and I mean commercial soaps as well, if you want them to last longer, unwrap them. Because if they can let the moisture in the soap itself evaporate just a little bit, they'll last longer. Because they're basically oil-based products, and if you can let them air out a little bit, they won't just turn to mush in the shower. So that's just a little 
tip for you to have your soaps last longer. And they also can make the bathroom and the house smell really nice. My grandmother taught me that trick. She had this big, huge bowl in my bathroom of all these huge soaps. And when we were little girls, me and my two cousins, we would walk in the bathroom, we're like, woo, grandma, did you just open the soaps? And she was so excited that we had noticed because she had just gotten them for us because we were on a, on a vacation to see her, but it nearly killed us. Anyway, so take three remnants of fabric that are similar, not too close, but have similar color schemes. And I always like to put the center one with a neutral, a gray, a black, a white, a cream if you're going with other colors, but the center soap should probably be your neutral because sometimes two matching patterns can be fantastic, but sometimes they can be just a little off. So always put the neutral piece in the middle. So what I want you to do is by using pinking shears, because what they'll do is they'll keep the, the fabric from unraveling, you're going to cut a piece of fabric just big enough to wrap around the soap. My friend is going all out for this baby shower. She actually watched my videos and she's making the uh, hanging paper ball, sort of like the wreath project. <laughs> she called me laughing. She said, Jenna, I love you, but I'm two hours in and this thing is taking a lot of time. And I said, I know I told you, you need some Oompa Loompas. She said, I have no Oompa Loompas and the girls are at college. <laughs> So with all my deepest sympathies, I sort of feel like I owe her a lovely gift <laughs> for all the work that she's put into this. She has baked beautiful little cupcakes and she polished all the silver. It's gonna be a great little party. So if she has these to put in the bathroom when we all get there, I know that she'll find that to be something special. So what I'm gonna do is cut these three pieces of fabric to be the same size. And then I'll be able to wrap up the soaps. So now that I've wrapped up these three sweet little soaps, what I know is that my friend's going to love them, first of all, and that I really want to make beautiful wrappers to go around them, and they're going to look so sweet on this plate. So not only are they scented, but they're a sweet gift. Now what I suggest you do, after you've printed it out, is to take some fun pens even ones that might have a little bit of sparkle to them. And maybe even like this gold one on the parts that have dots around it, embellish it a little bit. And by embellishing a little bit, you're adding some texture and some extra color. It's kind of a fun way to decorate maybe what I've already drawn on. And then I've got this green pen here and there's some leaves up here, so maybe I'll add just a few elements of green to bring this to life a little bit more, because there's some leaves in this design. So what I'd like you to consider doing is taking a really cool pen, one that you might love, like this one, which has sort of a brush tip to it, and writing a sentiment or a thought or a quote or whatever you'd like to in this lightened space 
that I've put in the center of each of these designs. You could write love, joy, and peace, or the name of the soap with love from and sign it. Happy birthday. Happy baby shower. Thank you so much. Whatever you'd like to say, you can always say it on the center part of each of these wrappers. So what I'm going to do, because I need the small ones, I'm going to write on three of these, and I've given it to you in five colors, so you can match, like this one will probably get the peach one, the black and white will probably get the blue one, and then this one here will probably get the yellow wrapper. So I'm going to use the three center colors here, save those two for something else another day, and write something on the center of each one of these, and then prep to wrap them, and you're almost done. I'm absolutely smitten with handwritten notes. So what I urge you to do is to get a very fine tipped pen and write something on each one of these labels. Even if it's a quote that you find from a lovely book that you've read or words that mean something special or a sentiment that the two of you share or an old joke, whatever it is, personalize it somehow. For what I wrote on here was, Lavender is for love, as much as I love you, Joni. Handmade with love for Joni from Jenna. Something simple like that. And thank you for always being a friend. So what, I'll just write those around in a circle, and then I'm going to simply cut these out, and we'll wrap them around the soaps. Now I know that I've made these specifically for soaps, but you know what you could always do is wrap these around a chocolate bar, give it to a friend for a birthday or just an any day gift. So you could just write dark chocolate, put it around the chocolate bar and leave it on someone's desk or leave it on someone's pillow. Be creative. Use these labels and ideas that I put out there for anything that strikes your fancy. Post it on Pinterest. Let me see it. I'm sure everyone else that's viewing would love to see it too. But I love to see when people take my ideas and designs and then use them for something else. Repurpose one idea and improve on it. So there we've got three cutout labels that we're going to tape around each of these soaps. Put them on a dish and it will be a smashing display. So we've finished wrapping all three soaps with the little personalized paper wrappers. And because I don't like scotch tape, I went in my scrapbooking drawer and I found these little circular stickers. So I'm gonna cover the scotch tape endings together. The colors just happen to match perfectly. I swear I didn't plan that. And I'll just put these three little stickers on the back of these if you wanted to write your name on them or handmade with love or whatever it is to present this gift. Why I love this project is that it's not only beautiful and it smells delicious, it's that it's practical. My friend Joni, she'll use all these in her guest room. They're beautiful, they're easy to make, they smell good, and they took almost no time at all. As well, they've got that lovely recycled element of just remnants of fabric turned into something absolutely beautiful. Today truly is the day to make something precious. My name is Jenna DeAngelis. Thanks for watching. What's your green wish? Find out more at greenwish.com.